Good evening. Tonight is Caitlin's pick, and she picked him 397, just as I am without one plea. She also chose verses 3 and 6 of that particular hymn. So we will sing him 397, verses 3 and 6. Just as I am, though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without all the This evening, we are in Galatians chapter 3. We are reading verses 15 through 25 of that particular book. Um, the section is entitled, The Law and the Promise. Brothers, let me take an example from everyday life. Just as no one can set aside or add to a human covenant that has been duly established, so it is in this case. The promises were spoken to Abraham and to his seed. The scripture does not say, and to seeds, meaning many people, but, and to your seed, meaning one person, who is Christ. What I mean is this. The law introduced 430 years later does not set aside the covenant previously established by God, and thus do away with the promise. For if the inheritance depends on the law, then it no longer depends on a promise. But God, in his grace, gave it to Abraham through a promise. What then was the purpose of the law? It was added because of transgressions until the seed to whom the promise referred had come. The law was put into effect through angels by a mediator, a mediator, however, does not represent just one party, but God is one. Is the law, therefore, opposed to the promises of God? Absolutely not. For if a law had been given that could impart life, then righteousness would certainly have come by the law. But the scripture declares that the whole world is a prisoner of sin, so that what was promised, being given through faith in Jesus Christ, might be given to those who believe. Before this faith came, we were held prisoners by the law, locked up until faith should be revealed. So the law was put in charge to lead us to Christ, that we might be justified by faith. Now that faith has come, we are no longer under the supervision of the law. What do we hear here, Isabel? We are no longer under this the supervision of the law. Yeah, what does that mean? Where does Paul say that? Caleb? We don't need to sacrifice animals anymore. Okay. Isabel? It doesn't control us. Okay. Caitlin? Because we have faith, we don't need to rely on the law to save us. Yeah. We don't need to rely on the law to save us. In fact, Paul says, what can the law never do? Marcus. Save us? Yeah, the law can never save us. Why is that? Caleb. Because the law says we as sinners are not going to hell. Yeah. I mean, it has been said that the law says do, 
and it is never done, right? Um, I never get the law done, not perfectly. I try really hard, but I never quite get there because I'm not perfect, right? Do I always keep God number one? No. Right? Do I always use his name properly? No. Do I always honor his word the way that I should? No. Did I always listen to my parents? Do I still always listen to my parents? No. Have I ever murdered? I've never killed anyone. But I've hated and I've harbored grudges, right? And so the law just never quite gets done. It says do and it is never done, but the gospel says, Caleb? Done through Christ. Yeah, it is done and it really truly is finished in Christ Jesus, right? And so the Apostle Paul says that the law is there for what reason? What is the law supposed to make us realize? Isabel. We're sinners. We're sinners. Why does the law want, to, want us to realize that? The law shows us our sin, right? The big SOS of the law. Why? Seems like a real bummer thing for God to do. I'm going to give you this law that's going to tell you how awful you are all the time. Well, thanks, God. Why does he do it? Marcus? So we repent of our sin. Okay. Caleb? When we see our sins, we need a Savior, so we go to the gospel. It helps me to understand that I have a need, right? When you can't do something, Marcus, when you can't reach the stuff on the top of the shelves, the big ones, what does that make you realize? I'm short. Uh, and I need help. I have a need, <laughs> right? I have to do one of two things. Either I have to go find myself a stool, or I have to ask for mom or dad, right? So that they can reach up there and get it for me. Right? Or Caleb, because he's taller than mom now. There you go, or Caleb, because <laughs> he's taller than mom now, right? Um, the same is true of the law. I stand there looking up and going, I, I, I can't get there. I can't reach it, right? Um, and so I have a need, and there's only one person that can help me. It's Jesus. That's the point of the law, so that I realize I have a need, and then the gospel comes along and says, let me help you with that. I can reach it. I can do it for you. I can get it all done, says God, and it's done, right? Um, what a blessing that is. And so as he starts out, the law was not given so that it could shove away the promise that was given to Abraham, or that it could be over and above this promise of the gospel. So many times people think that way, right? So many times we can think that way if we're not careful, right? It's not there for that. It doesn't push aside the gospel. It's on the contrary. This law actually ushers us to that promise that has always been there. Shows us our need for our Savior so that we run to him all the harder. I need Jesus. And thankfully, he's there for me in his life, in his death in his resurrection. Makes sense? Any other stuff you noticed in there? Caleb's giggling. Anything else that we noticed in there? No? Then let's pray. Dear Jesus, please help Caitlin, Caleb, Izzy, Marcus, Mommy, Daddy, and all we know and love have a good night's sleep. Help them to fall asleep and sleep all the way through the night and wake up happy and healthy. In your name we pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Have a wonderful night, and God bless.